Hi, Coach Ken with Enhanced Coaching here for another questions and answer session again. Uh, more emails came in today. We've been answering a lot of emails today. A lot of a lot of people asking about coaching. Um, one question I got earlier today was, let's see, from Angelo. Uh, he's 17. He wanted to start a SARM cycle. What stack would I recommend for him? Uh, he's been working out for three years and wants to do a nice dry cut with SARMs. Uh, my says my body fat is already quite low. Stats six foot, six foot, one hundred eighty six pounds, twelve to fifteen percent body fat. <clears throat> First of all, I want to address the dry cut with SARMs. Um, sometimes these words kind of get jumbled together. I don't know how this all started. There's just a new trend in the industry where people want to do a lean bulk, a dry cut. I mean, I know they sound fancy, but it basically just means you're, you're just losing body fat. So call it what you want. I don't have no problem with calling it anything different, but I just want to clarify what that means because some people new to the industry may not know what that means. And some of us older folks that have been around 20, 30 years, we just don't use those terms, and that's okay. Um, what I recommended for him was to take a, let's see, our cutting stack. Um, he asked exactly specifically what stack to use. So I offered the cutting stack which would be on the site here. If you go to Enhanced Athlete, I'll give you a little guidance on where to find stuff. Uh, if you click on Shop, <clears throat> on the left-hand side, you'll see Browse. It's going to give you a whole list of estrogen blockers, clothing, endurance age, PCTs. Um, but what I recommended was the, let's see, the Ultimate SARMS Cutting Stack. Uh, it's a pretty good stack for $199. It's going to offer... Fat, the fat burners are carterine, code red, slin, T3, and muscle hardeners was the Austin muscle and XMS stain. So these can be taken in combinations. Um, I don't recommend taking all of them at the same time through the whole entire cut, but I do recommend that you take portions of those at certain times. So it could be four-week increments. <clears throat> Austin muscle, you can take the entire time. Code red, I would cycle on and off along with the carterine. Um, and your slim would be something you would use pre-meals with the carbohydrates. Um, somebody also asked, too, would I take the slim pills prior to a workout? <clears throat> My answer to that was simple. If you're, if you're going to work out, you, you want food in your body, right? So if you're taking the slim pills, they're, they're insulin mimics, meaning that if you're going to eat a high-carbohydrate diet, they're going to process those nutrients right straight to the muscle as opposed to fat cells, you know, like a shuttling effect. If you don't have any food in your system, you do risk the chance of going hypoglycemic. Maybe not to the point where you're going to have hypo, uh, hypoglycemic coma, but being hypoglycemic prior to workout will not feel good. So I do recommend maybe one to two hours prior to your workout, if you have a meal with carbohydrates, to definitely have um, the slim tablets. But don't take them anything less than an hour prior to workout. And if you have more food in your system as you're working out, <clears throat> remember that blood is going to the stomach to help digest the foods. If, you're, if your body's trying to digest foods and you're trying to work out, you're fighting blood flow between muscle and stomach. So please don't do that. Make sure you give at least an hour or more prior to your workout. For instance, me, I typically have a lighter meal of carbs maybe a white rice that's super clean, easy to digest. Um, some people like using dextrose or carbolin, whatever, it doesn't matter. But then also, too, you can have no carbohydrates with some fats and proteins prior to your workout, and watch what happens to your pump. Much, much better pump. Uh, that was one question we had. And let's see. I have a question about can you successfully send men to Australia yet? I just liked he wanted to do a bulking cycle. As of right now, I don't know of anyone that's had trouble having that sent to them in Australia. Um, I would definitely look into the laws of your country. Sometimes they'll they'll have some um, <clears throat> issues with sending these through customs. I'm not sure exactly what Australia customs look like, but as of now, no one's complained about that. Uh, let's see. So Kevin asked me to send him an email uh, about trying to find a source for DNP. Also get a personalized plan on running it. I've been watching Dr. Tony Huge video library on it. Very informative. I'm looking to run it a couple times with needed support supplements he takes in the video. Can you help? Sure. So what I recommend, Kevin, is uh, we do have a, a protocol that I found online. Um, I revised it as much as possible to make it as simple and easy as I possibly could. It's a seven-day protocol. Actually, it's a seven-day of DNP, 14-day protocol. 
Um, sometimes with DNP, you have to be careful because we don't know the upper limits of what your body can handle. So I tell people we have 50 milligram tablets now instead of the 200 milligram. I like the idea of starting with maybe 50 to 100 first day and check your tolerance. Um, for me personally, I tried it once. 50 to 100 is fine for me, which is unusual for most people. One guy tried 300 and he said it didn't, he, he felt it didn't work. Um, the tablets are actually overdosed by I think about 5 milligrams per tablet, so around 55 milligrams of actual DNP. Um, <clears throat> if you want that protocol, uh, we do offer coaching. That's what our whole, our, this whole division of our company is, is enhanced coaching. For personalized plans, we do charge for that. Um, we can definitely help you with that. So if you, I will send you an email back and explain what that looks like. Um, taking different products along with that, I'll give you an idea like magnesium and calcium and vitamin C, lots of water. Dehydration is a huge deal on DNP. If you're dehydrated, you're sucking water out of the muscle. It's not going to respond very well. So there's a lot of different things that um, we got to be careful of when taking DNP. Let's try one more here. Uh, I want a special shout out to Reese McLeod. McLeod, I think it is. He is competing in the UK. Uh, it's the British Championships. I posted it on Facebook on our channel. Um, <clears throat> we've been working with him for about six weeks now. He looks very good. He looks very, very dry. Um, he's a great competitor. He's, he's very excited because his last show, he was pretty flat. And I saw his picture. I said, hey, I think I can help you get that flatness out of your your, uh, your competition. He, and he, he took me up on the offer. He's super happy right now. He looks very grainy. Uh, we're going to diet him down a little bit more. He's about 208 today. Saturday is a show. We're going to probably drop another five, six pounds off him. We may not even do a carb load because he looks good the way he is. So stay tuned for that. We'll, we'll post the results probably, I'd say, early Sunday or Monday. The show's later in the day. So we're not sure exactly what time that will be posted, but stay tuned for Reese. He's look, looking very good, and he's part of our coaching program. I met him online. We talked. I've uh, been coaching back and forth online, so online coaching definitely works for a lot of people. It's just a matter of following protocols. That's all it really comes down to. Uh, if you have any questions or, or comments you'd like to talk to us about, contact me at coachcanadaenhancedathlete.com. Um, always available most of the day. We'll get back to you right away. We usually within about 12, 24 hours max. Uh, other than that, signing off for Enhanced Coaching. Take care.